Ben, it's good to see you back. First of all, how are things domestically and how difficult have the last two weeks been for you? They've, they've been difficult, to be honest. Um, you know, unfortunately, we had a serious um, health concern from, from Boxing Day onwards. Um, and it, it, you know, it got to the point where obviously I had to take some, some time off. But um, things have improved, fortunately. Um, there's still a way to go. Um, but you know we're, we're working through that as a family and, and, and being strong with that. And but you know I can't thank the support enough from both the club, um, the supporters, um, and the, you know the football industry as a whole. Um, it's been very humbling and, and very and I'm very grateful for it. Yeah, that's that's good to hear. I mean, from the club's point of view, obviously back in the mix now. Um, how have you assessed things, or where, where do you assess things now, looking at the club and where they stand at the moment? I think for me, you know, coming back in, it's you know, it, I can come back in with a much clearer head now, and um, it, it's about going where we want to go, and that process starts now. There's no point waiting to the end of the season and then making changes about how we want to play and what we want to do. So we've um, we've worked this week, um, we've, we've made changes to how we're going to set up and how we're going to play, um, and it's a case of moving forwards with that now. Um, and it's, I know where we want to get to. Uh, I know how I want to play and the, and the style I want to to implement and the type of player that we want to develop here. So it's a case of getting to that point as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And one win can change things very quickly, can't it? I mean, you look at the table. Okay, not the best of runs as you would have hoped for, but one win and, and you're right back, isn't it? What you're only five points off the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. There's still a long way to go. You know, there's many points to play for, and they say one game, you can turn it around, and we could have a really, really good run. So. The, the mentality of the group, the character of the group, the attitude is you wouldn't know that there's been a, a bad runner form. You know, they've trained terrifically this well. Uh, the camaraderie in the dressing room is very, very good. Mm. So we just need that one positive result. And I think the the bounce from that, the momentum we will get from that will, will stand us in good stead over the next few weeks. Yeah, you brought in Jamal this week. Um, is it presumably he comes into your, your thinking right away? Yeah, he's fit. He's ready to go. So, um, you know, the squad as a whole is looking a lot healthier this week. Um, Jamal was a very talented goalkeeper. Um, I actually tried to sign him when he was 12 years old. When he was, uh, he played for a club side in Croydon called Junior Elite, that were a very strong um, grassroots club, and uh, wanted to take him to Palace at under 13s. And unfortunately, he chose Chelsea. But uh, so I've tracked him ever since. Um, and he, you know, he's a very talented goalkeeper. Gives us really good competition now in, in that area. Great level of experience with um, both here and abroad. Going with the Vitez and having that experience abroad, but. You know, more importantly, the spell with Wickham and obviously a really, really strong spell with Sheffield United. So we're delighted to have him on board. Um, gives us that competition that we want and that depth. Um, and like I say, the squad on the whole is now looking a lot healthier. Yeah, and of course, the January window remains open for a little bit longer yet. Are you optimistic, hopeful, wanting to bring in new faces, more new faces? Yeah, we're still active and we're still looking. Um, it's a case now of being the right ones. You know, what we don't want to do is bring someone in, uh, a false one in January that's not right for, for where we want to go and what we want to do. So we are still active, we're still identifying areas where we think we could improve and where we would possibly need another player in. Um, so we'll keep doing that right up to the window, but it would only be if it's if it's right in terms of the, the profile of the player and also the fit for the club. Yeah, Fleetwood, the next step, what sort of a game are you expecting at the weekend? Yeah, a good game. You know, we we went there obviously not too long ago and um, managed to get a good point. And they're a good side. You know, there's a good level of experience in their in their squad. Um, you know, they've got players that have um, have done really well um, and some very experienced players. You know, you look at likes of Paul Coots and Paddy Madden and, and Chad Evans. You know, some some top top players in there. So we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, you know, we respect how they play and how they set up and what they do. Um, but like I say, we're looking to be more proactive now ourselves and. Um, you know, and get to the stage where, you know, teams are having to worry about us a little bit more. Um, which you know we've worked on this week. The players have been excellent. Like I say, we've had a, a good week training, and, and I'm hoping that that leads into a positive performance tomorrow. Mm. Is, is it a good thing? Uh, does it help in some ways when you played them not that long ago? Did, can, can you use that to an advantage? Yeah, I think you learn from the game, um, and it's still fresh in your mind about how you set up, what we did, um, and likewise with them. Uh, I think it's a different. It'd be obviously a different atmosphere and a different mentality about playing at home, mm. uh, which makes a difference. But playing them, you know, just after Christmas and playing again so soon, it does help in terms of being fresh in your mind and identifying 
um, how to approach the game, um, which, as like I say, we, we would approach the game differently to what we did when we went away. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a game, any game, you could say it's important to get the first goal, but given the run uh, that you're on and, and the fans, I guess it would it, it would help, wouldn't it, to settle the crowd as well? I think that's massive in, in every game. You know, the first goal in, in every level of football is so, so important. So if we can get that, that first goal, it would obviously give us, give us a massive lift. But at the same time, <clears throat> if we did concede, I would expect a positive response. You know, we need to develop that that mentality and that positivity that you know we can come from behind and we can achieve results when we go behind so we want to go ahead we want to you know be in front and be able to control the game from there but we, likewise at times you are going to have to you have to do the opposite you know and show that you've got resilience and character and can come back from setbacks yeah obviously you're up against a, a sort of a, a well-known character aren't you on your opposite number in joey barton he's got a little bit of previous against crystal rovers two sendings off uh, before, I mean, what, how do you rate him as a manager? Yeah, I think he's done a good job at Fleetwood. You know, you look at the style that he's tried to implement and how they try to play. Um, I think their recruitment's been very good. You know, over the last couple of years, um, I had a good chat with Joey after the last game, and um, he's a great guy. You know, he's a character. He loves the game, um, and he's got a good squad there. So, you know, as I say, it's, we fully respect them. I think it's going to be a you know a tough test. But we're, we're ready for it. Yeah, just finally, how are you, how are you enjoying it uh, on a personal level, the actual management side of things? Uh, this week, I've enjoyed it a lot more. Um, it's difficult to judge, to be honest, because the first you know, two, three weeks of, of coming in was um, I, I'm clouded by what happened. Um, I, you know, I don't mind admitting it was probably the most difficult two, three weeks of my life in terms of what was, what was happening. So um, I don't think I gave the best account of myself because I was physically and emotionally stretched. Um, but I think now is it's different now. It's you know I'm I'm set now. Um, I'm happier in myself, uh, more comfortable in terms of family situation, and mm. and I say like, you know God willing that would all take care of itself now and we we get back on track. Yeah, well, good luck, Ben. Thanks for Thank your time. You. Thank you. Thank you very much.